Hi, we are Margo and Tony Heising, and we uh, live aboard here on the Nellie Gray. She's a 1987 Catalina sailboat. We also have a 1982 Volkswagen van that we travel on land. Our passion in life is sailing and traveling. We've been married 50 years and raised three children, and now we just travel. We traveled right from day one. We retired in 2010, and we had come out to California after Hurricane Andrew in Florida, where we were living in the Florida Keys, and it became impossible to stay there. We moved out to California, where our children had taken up residence, and we worked for 10 years or so, and then we retired in 2010. We retired with enough money in the bank to take care of us if we got sick in our older age and the rest of the time we live on Social Security. We sailed our boat down here to Ensenada because the cost of living is so good. We quit smoking so we can save $400 a month and we put that away and then we travel either by the van or on our boat. So this is the Nellie Gray. It's a 36 foot Catalina, 1988. She has uh, two sails, the main and the jib. Right now the jib is stored because we're not using it too often. We have this boat here in Ensenada, Mexico. It's our home and this is our home base. And it's a super nice place to live. We're retired. We can take the boat anywhere we want to go, which is one of the great things about living this lifestyle. If we get tired of Ensenada, we just untie the lines and off we go. The unfortunate part of our life is that sometimes we like to travel on land. This is the Baja buggy. We've uh, rebuilt it. It's a 1982 uh, Westphalia Volkswagen Vanagon. We take it every place we can in North America, and eventually we'll take it to South America. But right now she's been all through Mexico, all across the US and Canada. The longest we've spent in the van is six months, and we traveled the entire US up to Canada, Banff, Lake Louise, and then back to the US and out to Victoria, and then eventually back here. <clears throat> we actually weren't really ready to come back, but we ran out of places to go, so. And of course, that won't fit on the boat, so if we decide we want to leave here and untie the lines, we got to find some place to put that van. We have all the comforts of home. There's nothing that you would have in your condo or house that we don't have here except a dishwasher. She's got a 25 horsepower diesel engine to help us in and out of port, but other than that, it costs almos nothing to travel in her because she's a sailboat. My wife actually put these in the right place so that either one of us can always maneuver up the deck and always have a place to hold on to. So there's never any, hopefully no possibility of falling overboard. And of course we are tethered and we have our life jackets on. So Catalina 36s are great sailing boats. I wouldn't hesitate to take this boat anywhere. She's got all the navigation equipment that we could possibly need, and we use it. She's a great boat. We have our, our dinghy off the back, Nissan outboard. We have a West Marine kayak inflatable right on the forward deck, and an ocean kayak on the bow. We generally will cruise about six knots. We've got under really great conditions, we can get up to eight. My name is Margo Heising, and I live aboard with my husband, Tony, this 36-foot sailboat. We run our life from here. Um, we've lived on the boat for over 20 years. I'll take you for a tour of our boat and where we live and how we do things. One of the uh, great things about everything is it's small and easy to take care of. This is our, uh, we call it a reefer in the sailing world. It's actually a refrigerator and I have a two burner stove and an oven and I can cook a meal for six to eight people on here with absolutely no problem. We have a dry storage locker which is here and that's very very deep and we keep all of our dry goods in there and then we have cabinets here where we keep everything that we need to entertain and to keep ourselves alive with food. Tony and I have been married for 50 years and one of my greatest hobbies and loves in the world is cooking and entertaining for my friends. One of the biggest questions I had when I moved on board the boat was how will I do that with such little room? I had a very large farmhouse where I could entertain up to 20 to 25 people 
and I thought if anything will make me unhappy here, it will be not being able to entertain. So I decided the way to handle the problem was to buy my bone china anyway, and my silver and my crystal, and serve instead of 25 people, I can, I can feed eight people here with all of the beautiful things that I have. This is bone china, and it's very, very durable on the boat. We don't have any problem with it. I can serve pretty much as many people as I want. In our salon over here, I can seat six. On the other side, I can seat two. And up on my deck here, I usually put all the men out there, and we can sit six to eight men out there to eat. So I can have quite a large party here, and all of my needs as an entertainer are solved. <laughs> we have a double sink here. We have drawers over here where I keep silver and pots and pans. Under here is the interesting part of the boat. Our engine is under there. We have a 25 horsepower engine. As a woman, I had to learn how to work on the engine because when we're at sea sailing, if something goes wrong, Tony gives me instructions while he mans the boat. Over here, we have a, it's a, a technically called a nav table. When we're sailing, we use it to use our, our maps and our navigation. When we're not sailing, this is my art studio and my computer desk. I do all the little art pieces here in my spare time. I used to do much bigger ones, but I had to cut everything down to what fits to do on a boat, to live here comfortably and be happy. This table goes down and we have cushions that fit in here and we can sleep two to three people here. This table also goes down and we can fit another person here so we can have company. Tony installed our TV so it's in out of the way on the wall. Oh, we also have a, an aft cabin back here. It's used for storage right now because we're retired, but we used to, the children sleep in there. It's a king size bed. So we have our place for our grandchildren. So we have our ability to entertain. We have our ability for company and we have, we can entertain our grandchildren all at the same time. We have just tons of storage everywhere. This is our silverware drawer. Our batteries are under these cushions and our fuel tank is under this cushion. Over here we ha under that cushion we have our water heater and under here we have a holding tank for our bathroom. Our clothing is kept in these cabinets and Tony has two more cabinets than me and I don't think that's fair. In our bathroom this is our toilet this becomes our shower in the morning. The water goes down into this drain and pumps out into our holding tank. The V-berth is, is king size. We have plenty of room and you see we have a TV in there too. And all of our books, our whole library. I used to have a whole wall of books and now I have a little tiny library with all my favorite books. Tony has his guitar, which he plays, and we're very, very, very comfortable. Underneath of that bed is more storage, and Tony has his own closet right here. These are called ports on a boat, and they open like that, and we have plenty of ventilation. We have a port up here to let in more air. So we have everything we need to have a happy, sustainable life. <laughs> Everything that we Our expenses to stay in this marina are $400 a month. We get $2,800 a month Social Security, so after we pay our slip fee, we have $2,400 a month left, and we budget $500 a week. The extra $400 pays for our boat insurance and anything extra we would like to do. The cool thing about living in Mexico is the cost of the peso, because $500 uh, $500 a week only cost us about $280. We stay within our budget, we, we eat nicely, we, we treat ourselves to an occasional nice restaurant. We had mortgages and car payments and high insurance rates just like everybody else. Now we got none of that. Everything in our life is paid for. You know, it, once you realize that you don't have to, to devote your life and money to other people and you can just live a very peaceful, quiet life, it's pretty easy. You just have to make up your mind that you can do it. We owed our soul to Bank of America. 
our boat was mortgaged through them, our credit cards were mortgaged through them, everything that we owned was mortgaged through Bank of America. I sat down one day and figured out how much interest a year that I paid them. It wasn't worth working. We have more spendable cash now than we ever had when we were working. And when you realize that, and you realize that you can do it, you don't necessarily have to live on a boat. But if, if, if you're willing to sell your house and buy a smaller house that you don't have the burden, you can travel too, you don't have to live on a boat. It took us almost three years to get everything under control. We had to pay off the mortgage on the boat. We sold our cars and we retired with the boat and no car. And we didn't have a car for six months, which was the first time in our life that we didn't have a car. And we took public transportation and had a fabulous time figuring that out. I, I can't say enough how I wish that everybody could follow their dreams to just make it possible. You have to make it possible yourself, you know, and, and you can do it.